and just encourage you. In our Bibles, we find a story of a gentleman by the name of Zacchaeus. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 9. Are we going to read it? We don't have to read it. I'll just reference it. You will find that on a particular day, on a specific day, he heard that Jesus was coming. And he began to desire in his heart to see him. And as he began to have this desire, everything around him seemed to hinder him. In the natural, he was short in stature. And therefore, there was many obstacles around him. So being a man of desire and passion, he realized it would require of him something different than his normal everyday routine. So when we read the story of Zacchaeus, we see him begin to behave in a unnormal manner. It, it simply says that he ran before the crowd and he climbed up into a sycamore tree. How many knows that it's not normal behavior? For a man to be climbing trees in the middle of the day. <coughs> Go ahead. But he realized this particular time that it was a defining moment in his life. You and I today must understand that we have defining moments in our life as well. And we know the, the results of this story. When Jesus saw him in the tree, he then instructed him to come down for he said, today I must abide at your house. He didn't say. Told him to come down so he could go to his house. You and I today find ourselves in a place where we also must begin to desire to see Jesus. And how many know sometimes in our walk with the Lord, we desire to see him in a new and a fresh way? But many times in those seasons in our life, we begin to find ourselves dealing with obstacles and uncertainties. Obstacles? Yes. Yes. But we find that we are given scripture from Solomon. Simply tells us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. And in all of our ways we to acknowledge him. To acknowledge. And we find that Zacchaeus, even though he wasn't a perfect man. There is some principles that we find in his life that shows us when we become men and women of desire that even when it looks impossible in the natural 
որ եթե բնականորեն անհնար ինչ որ բան լինի that Jesus is able to bring things into our existence Հիսուսը կարող է այդ իրավիճակները փոխել եւ դա իրականացնել So for a few moments I want to take that story Եվ ես ուզում եմ այդ պատմությունը վերցնենք And maybe just build on it just for a few minutes Just build on it Եվ դրա վրա կառուցել խոսքը How many knows that in your walk of faith sometimes you get a little overwhelmed Sometimes life just gets heavy. Things happen in our families, in our city, in our nation. And it seems like we just can't seem to breathe like we normally did. Եվ ասես չենք կարող անում նորմալ շունչ քաշել ոնց որ որ առաջ էին կարող անում I want to encourage you today Ես ուզում եմ ձեզ խրախուսել This is an hour where we the people of God must keep climbing Սա այն ժամանակն է որ մենք որպես աստծո ժողովուրդ պետք է շարունակենք մագլցել բարձրանալ I know since I was here last in 2019 2019 թվականին եմ վերջին անգամ այստեղ եղել that you and your nation has went through some difficult times. The war of 2020. Over 5000 of your young men lost their life. And then just even a month ago another 200 young men have lost their life. How many knows that's heavy stuff? Sometimes it makes us question, God, where are you? Why is this happening? How do we go on? How do we move past? Because in the natural, we... See ourselves looking and say, well, we're, we're so small. Because in the natural, your enemy, your adversary looks so much larger. It looks like they're mightier in the manpower that they have. Their ability in the natural, their war chest, so to speak, is much larger. ու բնականորեն ֆիզիկապես իրենք ավելի մեծ զինամթերքներ ունեն ավելի զորեղ են And in those seasons the enemy is really good at what he does Ու այս ժամանակահատվածում թշնամին իրապես շատ լավ է գործում He comes and sits on our shoulders and says why bother Ու գալիս նստում է մեր ուսին ասում է ինչի ես հոգանում որ Why try? It's not changing. It looks like it's not good. But I come to encourage you to keep climbing. Because it is the one that keeps climbing that they are the ones that begins to get the view of Christ in a manner that nobody else does. Քանի որ նրանք ովքեր բարձրանում են կտեսնեն Հիսուսին, այսինքն նրանք ովքեր մնացին ներքևում չեն կարող տեսնել, բայց նա վերևից կարող էր տեսնել. All throughout scripture we'll find where men have been called to a higher place. Մենք խոսքի մեջ աստծո տեսնում ենք, որ մարդիկ ինչ որ բարձր աստված կանչում է մարդկանց ինչ որ բարձր վայր։ If you read of Abraham Եթե կնենք Աբրահամի դեպքը In Genesis 22 You will find that when he climbed up the mountain with Isaac, he began to have an encounter with God that he had never had before. And it was because by faith he was willing to climb to the place that God told him to go. And because of that he heard a ram in the thicket. A ram was caught in the thicket, in the bush. Uh, ha, uh, 
Nochas. Gara. And because of that, he had an experience that let him experience God on another level. And he realized that he was a God of provision. Moses is another man that climbed and experienced the glory of God. In Exodus 24, we see that he was called up into the mountain for 40 days. Those are just two examples of what happens when we become willing to climb. We experience a God of provision. And a God of glory. But we also find of another story. And it is in found in 1 Samuel chapter 14. There's a young man by the name of Jonathan. Jonathan, uh, Hovnatan. Hovnatan. Hovnatan he was the son of Saul. And we know in this story that they was encircled by the garrison of the Philistines. Their enemy was outnumbering them greatly. They had suffered loss. But Jonathan understood that his God was able. So he turns to his armor bearer and he simply says, let us go. And let's look at the territory. He says, who knows, maybe the Lord will favor us in this season. And Jonathan did not tell his father or the men that was with him. There was like 600 men. But we see Jonathan was willing to climb. And there was a great deliverance that come to him that day. And to the people. But he had this understanding. He said, it may be that the Lord will work for us. For there is no restraint to the Lord to save by many or by few. His armor bearer simply said this. Do all that is in your heart. I am with you. And on that day, they had a great victory. The two of them slew 20 men. And when they slew those 20 men, something began to happen in the earth and in the atmosphere. Our Bible tells us that there began to be a trembling in the earth that occurred. I say this to you tonight. What I'm finding out in this moment of time I know not everybody. But there is a group of people called the remnant. Called the remnant, the body of Christ. That is scattered throughout the globe. 
And they have made the decision to keep climbing. Even in difficult times and circumstances. In our nation, it's a very difficult time. But there is, and there's a great resistance to truth. But there's a group of people that has committed to keep climbing. And in your nation, there's a group of people that keep climbing. But today we have a promise. That if we are committed to keep climbing, that we will see the hand of God move. So I want to encourage you, no matter what it may look like, no matter what it may feel like, no matter even what it may sound like, if we're willing to keep climbing, there is one that's still willing to call our name. And Pastor Phil said it very clearly today. We keep climbing when we begin to bow back down on our knees and call out to God. So I want to encourage you tonight. Keep being faithful. Keep calling out the name of Jesus. Because he is still present to meet every need that we have. We have heard this often times. Do not be weary in well doing. For in due season, we'll reap if we faint not. I am convinced tonight that this thing does not end as it appears that it is right now. That it isn't going to end as it may appear right now. But there is a freshness of the Holy Ghost that's coming to this globe. There's a freshness of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. There is an outpouring that is present for you and I today. We just have to move into a position to see him. Don't settle for the disappointment that's around us. Let us not focus on our past so much about what we had then that we miss what God has for us now. There's some yesterdays that was wonderful. But there is fresh things in the spirit for us today. So I encourage you tonight. To simply keep climbing. Continue to encourage one another. Continue to assemble together. Continue to prefer one another over yourselves. Continue to prefer one another. Paul wrote to the Romans in Romans chapter 8. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Can we read that? Romans chapter 8. Let me see. Verse 
verse 6. In order for you and I to walk in victory, and to live a victorious life. We simply just have to be spiritually minded. And there is life and peace that we can have. And that will position us to keep climbing. For there still remains a rest for the people of God. So I encourage you tonight to rest. I encourage you tonight to rest knowing that God is still everything that we need. May the Lord bless you tonight. May he keep you. May he shine brightly upon you. And give you blessed peace.